Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, new video about the 010 editor and parsing. Uh, we were we uh, we are parsing the PE, the portable executable file format. Now, last time we finished uh, parsing the uh, uh, all the libraries that are being the DLS that are being imported by a deal by a, an executable, and then how how to find where is the name of the DLL. And then how to find the functions which are being passed we showed all of that and how it can be done and i gave two or maybe or three examples on on doing that so please please go back to those videos to understand how that is done now uh, over here uh, seems something has updated i don't know anyway it's just showed up so uh what the what's the point of this video is really to just show how these uh the 0101 templates look like uh, that's one and to explain a little bit about the uh, the template the pe template itself and how actually it's working and it's being parsed there are a couple of sections which are the most important ones not saying that everything else it is not important but these are the ones that i uh, needed in order to parse the the file format and explain everything to you so it will show you really how all the previous videos were probably built that's one not all of them but anyway uh, some of them at least uh, also you need to depend on the uh, the microsoft uh, pe file format especially for the pe file but that doesn't mean you cannot depend on other resources if you find them more useful uh, than the microsoft documentation so let's uh, go to first the uh, i want to go to the uh, the templates directory so if i go to products download templates okay let's maximize this and then if we search for exe so we should get to this is ours the one we were using and as you can see here these are a little bit of uh, comments about uh, like the uh, release updates and the history of what happened when in each version what happened etc and who did the, what Recommended reading, as you can see here, there are a couple of uh, websites that uh, the author of the, which is X by Peter, uh, recommends reading if you want to understand uh, the uh, the portable executable file format. And then, as you can see, if we go down, we start looking at really uh, C structures, C and C++ structures. That's what they are here. So these are just C structures defining like what's the signature, it's a, it's a word, uh, what's used by it, etc. As you can see, these are all signatures, uh, sorry, these are all structures which are defined, okay, which are, by the way, the same that you will find in the, the PE file format from if you go to the Windows documentation. And actually, let me also bring the, probably because we might need it now or later, PE file format. Mm. And yes, let's get this one. Yep, this is the one. This should give you the whole file format, by the way, and how it's broken down, everything in it. Uh, I, I only have one more section left to cover in another video, and then that's it. I'm not like, I think we covered uh, the most important uh, features in. Uh, in 010 editor and uh, taking the PE file as an example uh, the goal was not the PE file but we did dive into I would say a lot of the PE file these are all like the, as you can if you remember the DLL characteristics the Windows subsystem what does each one of them mean uh, optional headers when I, we, if you remember these were the headers available export import the only thing left really which we will be talking about in another video is the relocation section so that's the only thing left which i will leave for later but for now let's go back and look at this so these were all by the way the definitions that we uh, that we saw over here okay they are all just defined in here and then uh, ready to be parsed if i go all the way to the end okay so if you go to the end, as you can see here, this is where the parsing code starts. So really everything before was just either functions or uh, let's say they were either the functions or they were the structures of the PE file. 
So first thing is a little Indian. So it's telling uh, the 010 editor, I want you to set this as little Indian. Everything will be passed as little Indian. Then this is just a message that we are beginning the parsing. And I think you saw that uh, when the results come out over here uh, of the parsing itself. Not sure. Yep, it should be somewhere over here. Okay, so you'll see those results when parsing happens. Okay, and then where did we go? Let's go back here. And then you can see here the image DOS header DOS uh, now is defining that we want to check this image DOS header. Okay, you can do a search for it, by the way. And then if you, uh, you'll need to read here, as you can see, the size of the image DOS, etc size of your read by the way here it's just reading uh like parsing the the file to locate this image dos header okay and getting the size back so i'm just going to go here again and then after that we are doing a check if the dos which header which is a type of image dos header okay dot m signature is the 5a 4d which is for the uh the portable executable file then if it's not Sorry if it's not, then it's invalid DOS magic, so it's not a DOS header, etc. Okay, so these are really just to check a couple of things at the beginning. Then we have the image DOS stub, then DOS stub, and then again, uh, go to DOS header. We already have the DOS header here. And then dot address of new EXE header, which is the NT header. Okay, uh, we are going to go to that location. Now we are going to define a new variable uh, which is the NT header and use that to parse and find the PE uh, because if you remember at the beginning I'm going to go here uh, you'll find that uh, the this is the this is the DOS header 5A for D and this is the uh, for the PE okay My, wait a minute. I'm not sure what's happening with my okay okay so this is where you'll find the uh the type of uh image uh dust uh, yep let me just double check address of new header so this is talking about sorry i'm not sure what's happening here maybe because i left it open so uh this is the file address of the new header which is f8 where you need to go and if you go to f8 you can see at the beginning the PE, that's what I was talking about. So you'll know that this is uh, actually really, uh, this is really uh, uh, a portable executable file. The new, the, the, the signature for the PE file. Okay, and then same thing, doing some checks. Now image section header, same things, doing, uh, check, getting, defining this as an image section header and then uh, checking the number of sections. Uh, which is again over here. If you go to the file and T section count, it's the same thing, by the way. It's getting the section header. How many sections do we have? And then so on and so forth. After that, the one that I use mostly was uh, parse e EAT, which is parsing the export address table. So if we had, we didn't have in our case uh, an export table, I might do another video, like I said before to get that uh, we don't have one so that's why it was empty and then but this is the one that we really parsed the parsing the import address table so if i go here this is where the import address table gets uh, first parsed and if you remember when i was talking about uh first checking the virtual address it's not zero and then checking that the data directory import size is also not zero. Those were the first checks to be done to make sure that if those were zero, then uh, it means that we don't have, that section is empty actually. So we don't have that. After that, we started the, the parsing uh, process. This was mostly what we needed, the RVA to file offset address, which is the relative virtual address to file offset address. And if I take that and go, the function of it let me go it's being used a lot by the way because at the end this is what happens so as you can see this is how you convert from the relative virtual address to the file offset address 
you can see there's a loop because it's looping through the sections okay and then you can see that it's making sure that the relative virtual address is bigger or equal than the section the virtual address of the section that's one and then the relative virtual address is less or equal than the section uh, the section virtual address plus the size of the raw data because at the end you want to make sure the address is within those boundaries where it starts and where the maximum size of that address ends if that is true then what we need to do is return the pointer to the raw data plus the virtual address minus uh, the relative virtual address sorry minus the virtual address and this is to get the uh, where is this located within that boundary and then uh, add it sorry to uh, pointer to raw data and this is what's going to be returned so this is the way actually all of the relative virtual addresses were were converted okay now i know this video took more than uh, expected and uh, but if i go down to the end again this is again how uh, all of the other sections will be passed uh, the parse base relocation that's what we will be doing uh, next and then we will be concluding our PE uh, file analysis or at least breakdown uh, using this. Now, why is the PE file really, in my opinion, one of the best examples, not just for people interested in security or digital forensics and et cetera, even for people interested in computer science, this is one of the, I would say, uh, most complicated data structures that you will be dealing with. Uh, you are parsing uh, structures, structures that have uh, sections, sections that have entries, entries that lead to addresses, addresses that lead to other uh, structures and sections and, and, and so on and so forth. So really understanding all of this, how to use offsets, how to navigate into it, it's really not just helpful for uh, cybersecurity students, whether they are offensive, defensive, uh, uh, forensics, whatever but it's also very useful for computer science students as well. Uh, so that's it for this video and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.